Well, it's no longer Sunday, but I do have a Sunday Spotlight book for you. Um, this one's a little bit different than the kind I normally do. A, because I'm not sure that they're an indie author, um, and B, because it's not the traditional clean romance. So I don't always read um, all of those traditional clean romances. I do like to read them, <clears throat> but I also like to shake it up every once in a while. And one of my favorite genres that I just recently found is uh, the psychological thrillers, where it's more like in your head kind of thing. Um, and one of the authors that I came across that I absolutely love is Frida McFallon. Frida, I think that's right. Um, I will put the link just in case I'm saying her last name wrong. McFadden, Frida McFadden, sorry. Um, I've read several of her books now and um, some of them are better than others. This one was pretty good. This one was called Ward D, and there were a couple of things that I liked about this. So for one, this was definitely one of her cleaner books. Um, she does tend to have cursing in her books, not usually anything beyond that, um, but some of them are do have more cursing than I'm generally comfortable with. This one only had one curse word that I remember, so as on that scale, it was a pretty clean read. Um, secondly, some of them definitely get a little bit more graphic in their the killings because obviously somebody dies. Um, this one was also less graphic in that instance. Um, so yes, so people still die because it's a psychological thriller. You have to kind of figure out what's happening, um, but less than some of the other books that I've read. So I actually kind of like that too. So Ward D is set um, through the point of view of this doctor, wannabe doctor, who has to go and fill out uh, do a rotation at a psychiatric unit. And of course she has to do it overnight. Um, and she's freaked out by the psychiatric unit for a couple of reasons. One, because when she was younger, she was seeing this little girl. And so she thinks that she's maybe kind of crazy herself. Um, but then also because um, she realizes once she gets there, that someone she knew is in this unit. Um, so, of course, things start happening and you have to kind of figure out, like, who's behind it. I will say that uh, part of it I got right away. I was like, ah, don't do that. Don't do that. You know how you kind of yell at, like, horror movies when you're like, don't, don't go into the woods by yourself. Um, so it was very clear that there was at least one person that she shouldn't, you know, trust at all. Um, and that was my only critique with the book was there was a scene where she's met this um, character. She's not sure that she trusts him, but she kind of does. And then she has this other character that is has been a part of her past who she knows is crazy. And she ends up like trusting the crazy past person instead of the person that her gut is telling her to trust. So that was my one part where I was like, I don't think the character would actually do this, especially the way that Frida built it up as to how much she didn't distrust or she distrusted the p person from her past. Um, but other than that tiny little bit, which I knew she had to have in there to make the rest of the book work, um, it did. So other than that little piece that I was like, oh, she wouldn't do that. Everything else was really good and um, definitely surprised me at the end. So if you like psychological thrillers, if you want something different, then I would definitely recommend that you check out Ward D by Frida McFadden. And I will put the link in the comments and hopefully I will have a new book for you this Sunday. Um, I'm trying to get reading done and writing and preparing for school for next year. So, you know, lots of stuff. Anyway, hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye.